Good evening. Welcome to Maysville tonight. If you're visiting with us, we're glad to have you here. And if you're unfamiliar with our meeting times, uh, obviously 7 o'clock on our Wednesday midweek Bible study, 9 a.m. on Sunday morning for our Bible class, and 10 o'clock for our worship, and at 5 p.m. again for our evening worship. Uh, if you want to go ahead and mark uh, song number 680, will be our song of encouragement this evening, 680. Uh, Merle Renfro, she did have her foot surgery yesterday. Uh, she is recovering now. She's doing well. The surgery went well. Uh, let's continue to keep Sister Renfro in our prayers. Also, um, Tossy Sanders is doing better, uh, still in rehab, and sounds like he may be there till next Thursday, uh, but he is doing better. Uh, again, the visiting times for him, uh, weekdays between uh, 4 and 8 p.m., Saturdays 12 and 8, and uh, all day on Sunday. And again, he's in Health South Rehab. Um, don't forget about our uh, spring cleaning coming up in preparation for our gospel meeting. Uh, again, gospel meeting is uh, May 6th through the 9th. Uh, speaker, Brother Jim Dearman. The um, April 28th coming up this Saturday, uh, spring cleaning starts at 8.30 here at the building and continue until uh, the cleaning is completed. Uh, there's a sign-up sheet posted outside the secretary's office, and if you can please uh, fill in the blanks there and complete the tasks that are assigned. Uh, the tasks are for men and women. Uh, whoever can get involved if you are uh, willing and able and everyone is encouraged to be a part of that and complete our tasks here also we mentioned uh, coming up this Sunday night we'll have our monthly birthday and anniversary fellowship meal uh, service team six will be responsible for the setup and cleanup and the theme again is breakfast and that's uh, this coming Sunday night after our evening worship we mentioned that um, if you want to attend the Madison County High School Mystery Dinner Theater, uh, you can see Yvonne or Savannah Hand for that. Tonight is the last night for the uh, the, the pre-tickets, if you will, and uh, you can get those at the door, and that's coming up on uh, this coming Friday, April the 27th. And again, tonight is the last night, so see Yvonne or Savannah Hand for that. Uh, you can also see uh, Alan Troxel. He's selling some coupon books for Buffalo Wild Wings uh, to help raise money for the football program at Madison Academy. Uh, they are $20. There's lots of great deals in the, the Buffalo Wild Wings coupons there. And if you can support him, just see Alan Troxel, I'm sorry, Austin Troxel tonight, and uh, he'll get you set up. Also, we've mentioned the uh, Church of Christ uh, Six Flags, uh, Church of Christ Day at Six Flags. Uh, June the 22nd, there is a sign-up sheet posted outside the secretary's office, and if you still have questions on that or need some further details, you can see Jason or Tammy Osmer or Lonnie Jones. I think that's it. Again, a song of encouragement, number 680. We'll have our closing prayer by Brother Kyle Trailer. Tim? Let me encourage you to turn with me to Isaiah chapter 53. reading in verse 5 and 6. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. All we, like sheep, have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Our auditorium class here on Wednesday night, we have just come in our study of Isaiah to chapter 52 and 53. And talking about now the majesty of Jesus. There is a unique place for Jesus in the church. He not only is our high priest, described by the writer of Hebrews. He is not only the Son of God. He is not only the author and finisher of our faith. He is not only the architect and the creator of the world. He is also the sacrifice. As John the Baptist described in John chapter 1, verse 29, the Lamb of God 
that takes away the sin of the world. When Paul the Apostle would write later in the book of, of uh, 2 Corinthians, and he would describe the concept of why they were preaching the gospel, 2 Corinthians 5, 14. For the love of Christ compels us because we judge thus, that if one died for all, then all died, and he died for all, that those who live should no longer live but for themselves, but for him who died for them and rose again. We're about to sing a song. There's not a friend like the lowly Jesus. No, not one. None else could heal all our soul's diseases. No, not one. No friend like him is so high and holy. No, not one. And yet no friend is so meek and lowly. No, not one. There's a friend that you have. Whether or not you understand this friend or not, you have a friend in Jesus. Because Jesus came and prayed, paid a price. He paid the price for our sins, a price that we could never pay, a price, price we cannot truly even comprehend. And yet God paid through the Lord. He laid upon Him our sins. And Paul says, and here's the, the way God's doing this reckoning, that if one died for all, then all have died. Our joining with that concept of death, that rejoining with Christ, is in our obedient response when we are baptized. And Paul describes that, that concept. When we died, we know when Christ died, but we also are described in Romans chapter 6, verse 3, don't you know that as many of us have been baptized into Christ, have been buried with Him in death, baptized into His death, so that we may be raised to walk a new life. Forgiven, redeemed, raised for God. If that doesn't describe you tonight, it can. If you'll respond to the invitation of Christ, confess before this audience your faith in Jesus as the Son of God, you can be baptized even tonight and have your sins washed away by the blood of Christ. If you are here tonight and you have a spiritual need that we can assist you with, we invite you to come now while we stand and while we sing. There's not a friend like the Holy Jesus. No, not one. No, not one. None else could heal our soul's diseases. No, not one. No, not one. Jesus knows all our struggles. song in a minute will be number 558 558 <clears throat> we've got a family that's uh, going to become part of our family here at Maysville and uh, I'm going to have to have 
raise their hand. I guess we got everybody standing out of bad time. But Larry at Masters, raise hand. He's a pretty tall fellow. You can see him over here. And uh, his short mother-in-law is sitting by him, Francis Martin. And uh, raise your hand. and eh, may do a little good. I don't know. But he's a, she's over here. Vicky, his wife, is not here tonight. But uh, they used to be at Maysville years ago and then been East Winchester worshiping and felt like uh, this was home, wanted to come back. And we've uh, talked with them, and they want to be members here and uh, active. So uh, Larry uh, Masters and his wife Vicky and Francis Martin. So you get to know them. We appreciate you all coming and being with us and look forward to working with you. <clears throat> we have our closing prayer after the first and the third stanzas of this. <clears throat> Savior, breathe thy Father, thank you so much for this beautiful day. Thank you for this beautiful time of the year. Thanks for the opportunity that we've had to come together tonight. Thanks for all the good lessons that we've had. Pray this week that you'll be with Merle, be with Totsy. Pray that you'll continue to be with David Robinson and his family, be with David Smith. Be with all of us, Lord. Help us to have a good week. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. <clears throat>